Mass media are accomplices of anti-cult terrorists. Mass media play a crucial role in dehumanization and targeted persecution of religious and secular organizations chosen by anti-cultists as their victims. By leveraging their unofficial contacts among media representatives, including journalists, editors, and leaders of major publications, anti-cultists initiate and carry out large-scale and prolonged campaigns to discredit these targeted organizations. In essence, they orchestrate information terrorism. Therefore, the cult works ahead of the curve. How do cultist fraudsters turn people into slaves, and how have they managed to evade responsibility for decades? How Jehovah's Witnesses embarked on the path of extremism? As part of these campaigns, various methods of negative influence are employed, including the use of aggressive rhetoric, hate speech, dissemination of false information, slander, provocations, and incitement to aggression against targeted individuals. In this process, unscrupulous media representatives are recruited into this network of cooperation, willing to engage in dubious actions to achieve their goals, meaning committing information terrorism. Thus, anti-cult organization representatives recruit the direct perpetrators of future attacks. Additionally, anti-cultists create the image of victims from some of the recruited or interested individuals who have allegedly suffered from the malevolent influence of the stigmatized organization. The stories of these pseudo-victims are widely disseminated in defamatory media publications, despite many of these tales being intentional lies.